Several of you told me that my scaling videos were unnecessary because all you need to do is change your high and low engineering units. Let me show you why that's a bad idea. In Studio 5000, I have a 1734 IE2C, and if I right click and go to Properties, then on the Configuration tab, we have our high and low engineering units. And what several of you have said is if you want 4 to 20 milliamp scaling, all you need to do is put 4 and 20 milliamps into here. Then I'm going to open up my main routine and I'm going to bring a move instruction down. And this is just so we can see it on the HMI. Then I'm going to grab local colon 2 colon I CH1 data and I'm going to put it in analog scale because I already have that set up on the HMI. And I'm going to make this a real because we want a decimal in it. And I'm going to download this program. Now, again, this is not what you should do. I'm just showing you the pitfall of using the low and high engineering units to do your scaling. Also, if you need any help downloading your program or you're interested in other Studio 5000 topics, hit that subscribe button and check out our channel. I have our PLC Tool Sim ALP2 in current source mode. And I show 4 million up here. And I show 4 million up on my HMI. So we look great. But now if I go up to 4.1, my HMI is not moving. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, now it moves. And now if we hold our button and start going up, you'll see we're only getting whole numbers. And the issue is if we mouse over local colon 2 colon I CH0 data, it's an integer. So that means it only has whole numbers. So don't use the high and low engineering units to do your scaling. Click here to learn how you should be doing your analog scaling.